Jessica and I'm a professional photographer. I shoot primarily sports fishing. Let's do a quick video on how to use your Outtex bag. Probably about four years, maybe even longer, I'm not sure. Um, I swear by them. Just wanted to show you kind of how to put it together. I'm going to be putting the dome port on my 14 to 24 um, ultra wide lens and I've got a older body here Nikon D600 and I'll be using and I'm not sure the actual term of which um, You slip it down and these ones actually I find are the easiest most of my cameras are the Circular eyepieces everything together in beer koozies and store them in my pelican case so that way they don't get smashed I like to keep all the threads on I do not thread them all the way on though while I'm traveling. Rinse everything off really well after salt water usage, but sometimes if you have them really done up tight and you're traveling and then you get to your next location, they can get a little jammed. I don't, I actually have no clue why. And for the dome port as well, I leave the top rings on. Always leave the bottom thread in because I primarily use this lens just for the 14 to 24 because it's quicker when I get to a new location. I can just um, grab it out and set up everything a lot faster. On the viewfinder port, I also leave my eyepiece connected all the time because find a, 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 like four different pieces. It's just easier if I just keep everything together. I know this is the port, the viewfinder port for my 600 D600 camera. Couple things: lens on your camera before you do this. There's two ways you can do it. You can either do the roll method, which I do a lot, where I roll the entire case. You can either do the roll down and you roll it, and then you slide it from the side of your camera on. You can also do the other method, where you start at the back end of the case, which is where your viewfinder port is, and you go over your lens all the way to the back. I'll get the case on, and then I'll show you the rest. Okay. I'll probably fast forward this too. done. I mean, that's how easy it is. So it's nice. It's so quick now. Okay. So now that you've got the cover on, take my lens cap off, pour it on first. So I leave the, uh, the bottom bracket, as I had mentioned before on, you just need to make sure you have your Allen key at all times. Okay. Anyways, I just slide it on. Now the Nikon, uh, 14 to 24 have this gold line here and the line helps me kind of indicate where I want to position this um, port. My Allen key right here and I tighten. And I don't find you need to tighten it that hard. I don't need to be reefing on this thing, but here it's on there. If you see, it's um, I like to do the front first and then I do the back viewfinder port. So for this nice big dome port, I like to pull the silicone cover up onto the dome port. Okay. And then I start to pull it down onto the thread. Way up on the threads. You don't need to be all the way on the threads. Perfect. Okay, so I leave a little bit of space. I can go around and adjust certain ones. Make sure I'm flush against it. So you want to leave a little bit of thread before you put your brackets on. All right. And now you just put the bracket on top. All right. Uh, I try to build my cameras like a cold air conditioning area and I'm in a hot, humid climate, then I make sure my cameras are adjusted to the temperature outside. Then I'm the worst also for like opening my case and forcing the uh, fogging process to begin or the defogging process to begin on my cameras. It's just, I don't have time to wait. So through my day and it's warm out and I'm shooting and dunking in the water and shooting split shots of fish releases and stuff, um, I'm not worried about it. I always check it from time to time. It's super, super tight, but I like to make sure it's tight. Now the back port, it's easy. It just slides straight down onto the eye adapter. Camera has the circle eyepiece. Be careful, I have overcranked them and thus ruined. Uh, the eyepiece curtain thing when it's not that big of a deal to me, but please be careful. The uh, viewfinder port, you can take your threads off now if you want. I don't want to scratch my dome port, so um, Outtex sends you a nice cover. Just throw it on the front. Take the eyepiece, slide it on. I slide it inside the cover first. 
then I drop it straight into the um, the eyepiece adapter holder area thing. Okay, so now my cover's over. My eyepiece adapter on this one will move around. Um, so uh, it's a little bit of a nuisance for now, but it, it doesn't it doesn't bother me once I get the harness on and push it a little bit and you'll get some of that air out. Back thread, okay, pop it on. Again, I double check these while I'm out working, but now it's on. So last step then would be your uh, harness. Some people don't use it with the harness. I do when I'm on boats and we're backing down on fish. This strap around my arm and lean out over the boat and spray can come up and uh, more functional for me, again, it's up to you. Uh, I piece down on the Nikon D600. I actually um, like to have this piece, which is the piece that comes off the Outtex, underneath the flash, flash thing. Underneath this thing right here. I don't know what it's called, viewfinder flash thing? Thread the bottom part of the harness over the, door, the dome, sorry. Circle piece of the harness is over my... So it fits underneath here, underneath that thing. I could go through it, but I honestly don't feel like it. So anyways, I adjust it, it fits under there. I tighten from the bottom and I clip here and then it's one happy package. So that's the process. Highly recommend it that these covers have helped to take my work to the next level. Worried about whether or not I could get the shot backing down on a, a marlin or something like that. Spray's coming up. I'll show some samples at the end of this of what I've used this cover for. I hope this helped. I don't know. It was a long video. I'm going to cut it down.